So as you saw last night, I started reading Binding 13 and I read a little bit today. I didn't get that far last night. I think I only read one chapter and it was like 10 pages, but I read a lot on my Kindle. I did the thing where you can put the book you're reading as your lock screen. So cute. Also, I got a pop socket for it finally. Anyways, I read all of the sample on here because they give you like a free sample for books that are on Kindle Unlimited. And I read to page 68. I'm on chapter 6 now. That far into it. And I basically got introduced to some of the main characters. Johnny, obviously, and Shannon. And then her two friends. And her family and how her family has been. And I got past the part where she gets freaking hit in the back of the head with a ball that Johnny kicked accidentally though. And he like took care of her. And that was so sweet. Like he took her to the principal's office and was like rubbing her hair or whatever whenever she asked and just asking each other questions and trying to keep her awake that was so cute and i just read past the part where his friend gibsy i think is how you say it he got him the file of everything that she's like been through and he just finished reading it and that's where i just ended and he's like saying that he's determined that nothing is going to happen to her at the school because she's been bullied like severely bullied at her last school and i'm like <laughs> I don't know why, but I love this so much. Like, a protective guy in a book. Like, I don't know why I eat it up. But, like, in a good way. There's, like, protective, like... I'm trying to give a good example without spoiling another book. But you know the type of protective in a book where it's like, okay, dude, shut up. Like, you're not helping. Versus this kind of protective where it's like... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope you do. But so far, I'm actually really into the story so far. Like, in this world. I think it's because I was so excited to read this. Like, if I wasn't excited to read this, I would be like, ugh. Like... Ugh, there's so much to read since I'm excited I'm happy that it's this big because like you get so much of it in a book so I'm excited and I'm excited to keep reading I don't know how much I'll read today I'm tempted to buy it on my Kindle because I've been in my Kindle era lately ever since I got it I just want to read on my Kindle but yeah I guess I'm just gonna keep reading for a little bit and I'll update you if anything happens and what I'm thinking coming back with a little update it has not been long at all since i have talked to you guys but i made it to page 85 and they're talking about how her third year and sixth year were randomly chosen like as a class to go with the rugby team for this like big game or whatever and i'm thinking that she's gonna go and that she's gonna be on the same bus as johnny and something's gonna happen on the trip they haven't spoken and it's been like over a month and they haven't spoken since he like hit her in the back of the head and like took care of her for that day because her mom told the school not to let him near her because she thought she's being bullied so i'm interested to see if anything happens on this trip like obviously nothing like that will happen but i just want them to talk like i need contact also i'm so intimidated by this book i'm genuinely so intimidated i did my good reads and i was like yeah page 85 or whatever and it was like five percent done and i was like oh, fine. anyways i'm gonna keep reading and i will be back with my next thoughts okay i officially made it to the 100 page mark on page 104 and gibsy i think that's how you say his name gibsy gypsy i don't know i hope okay so i know it's binding 13 and keeping 13 and i think it's like saving six or something something six is the next two books after the, these first two um is that about claire and gibsy because if it's not i'm gonna be so sad i'm gonna look it up right now because i'm gonna be so excited to read those books oh no okay so never mind i guess it's gonna follow shannon's brother that actually makes me sad i hope i see claire and gibsy gypsy whatever get together like within one of these books because i love them together i just read the scene where he's about to go out for his birthday dinner where she just like dealt with his cat or whatever at claire's house and she's like staying the night and he was like teasing johnny before about shannon <laughs> so obviously he knows and then he was like yeah johnny's coming to pick me up and we're gonna go celebrate you should stay around and say hello i'm sure he'd love it and i was just like <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm literally like smiling, like kicking my feet over here. But yeah, that's my mark. I'm on page 104. I want to read to 200 tonight. So we'll see if I can do that. But yeah, I'm going to keep reading. <laughs> he just got hurt playing a rugby match and she's there with her friends watching and he's looking at her while the ref is like checking him out and like seeing if everything's okay. He's looking at her. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't, I can't. I have to keep reading this right now. You guys, he just scored the winning whatever in rugby. I don't know the rules or whatever, but he scored the winning point and he's looking at her again. You guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh that's actually crazy everyone is like running up to him and he's just like distracted because he's looking at her 
I'm eating this up. So they were talking after the game. They finally talking after the whole incident in the beginning. Like they haven't talked since then. And it's so cute. She's so like awkward and he's just like smiling at her, eating it up. And then a photographer comes over and interrupts them and is like, can you move out of the way so I can get a picture of him? And then Johnny's like, we were talking. And then Johnny pulls Shannon in with the picture and he's like, smile. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so... He literally put her in the picture for like a newspaper. I can't right now. I don't know what it is, but like just the little things that are happening. I'm just like literally like giggling out loud. I don't know what's happening to me. Okay, so a lot has happened. So I read their drive together. I don't even remember his name because he's so irrelevant and nobody likes him. But the guy, I don't know, Mick something. Ronan, I think is his name. Cornered Shannon and then like Johnny went after him, whatever. She missed her bus. So Johnny offered to drive her home. They sat in the parking lot. They talked, which was everything to me it was so cute and i loved it how they were both asking each other like questions and it was just everything but then he got all sensitive about his injury and then was being a jerk whatever so he got home and his mom was home first time meeting her in the book and then i just read the part where they printed the photo of johnny and shannon at his game and it was like they wouldn't he wouldn't speak about the relationship although they say a picture speaks a thousand words and apparently it was printed national instead of local, which I'm sure means a lot of people have seen it. And his mom was the one that like showed it to him, like asking who's this. Like, oh my gosh. I will say though, I'm worried for Shannon because it hasn't been in her point of view. It's just Johnny's after dropped her off, but she was late, I think. And her dad is like abusive, which I haven't seen yet, but I've caught on. And he said not to be late again because she was already late before. So I'm nervous to read her point of view, but I'm on page 191 and I was going to stop at 200, but I'm not sure now. I might keep reading. I'm just so invested and i've gotten a pretty good chunk done look at that i'm kind of slaying right now and i'm so into it i don't know what it is but i'm so into it anyways i'm gonna keep reading i'll come back with updates okay so i'm stopping for tonight i made whoa just now looking at the page that i stopped on i just stopped on it because it was the end of a chapter i stopped on page 222 222 on chapter 22 that's kind of weird. That's how far I got. I say that's pretty good for like one day of reading. I was gonna stop at 200, but I just wanted to keep reading. Like I needed to know what was happening. And usually I don't get like this with books recently, unless it's with fantasy. But I read the chapter about her and her dad. She came home and her dad found the newspaper. I don't remember if I said this, but that was awful. And I literally like teared up whenever her and her brother were talking. I was so sad. And then I started talking about Johnny. And then the thing with her mom, then I morning i'm sorry if you guys haven't read the book and you're watching this video you're gonna be like i don't know what you're talking about but her mom was kind of like convincing her that her dad she was basically giving excuses for how her dad reacted and not wanting shannon to tell people what her dad did to her and her brother i'm just like girl but anyways this was like right before school and then i read the chapter where she went to school and she talked to johnny and i was like <laughs> Whenever she was talking with her dad, her dad smacked her in the face with the newspaper and Johnny was worried. He was like, give me a name. Give me a name and I'll take care of it. What happened to your face? You've been crying. Because she was crying with her mom before she went to school. And he was like, just tell me a name and I'll take care of it. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> There's something about this trope that I eat up. The overprotective guy that will kill anyone that touches her because she's like fragile and she's like going through stuff, whatever. I don't know why, but I love it. She's trying to avoid Johnny now. And apparently he's doing the same because he feels weird about being vulnerable with her about his injury. And she's like trying to tell him like she's speaking straight facts and he just doesn't want to hear it. That's all I got to say. So he was avoiding her too. And I'm just not here for that. I'm not here for the avoiding part, but she did get the permission slip. Her mom signed it after the whole thing that she can go to the rugby bus ride to wherever thing that I talked about earlier where I was talking about how they'll talk again but I didn't know how far in the future that was and how much time they had in between but I still think something is going to happen on that trip but yeah this is where I'm stopping for tonight I will pick back up in the morning my thoughts so far on this book is that I love it and I'm eating it up and I am scared they say that this book ends on a cliffhanger so bad that you need the next book or else you'll be like physically unwell until the next book so i'm very concerned but i'm loving it so far but there's so much more that i'm scared it could be good it could be bad but there's also a second book with them too so i'm guessing it ends bad and then like it becomes good in the next book so i don't know i'm just theorizing right now moral of the story is i am really 
enjoying it and I really am excited that I'm enjoying it and I'm excited to read more tomorrow. I will see you then. Hi guys, so it's the next day and it's literally like 1.30 a.m. because I did not read all today and I just started reading and I'm on page 240 right now. But I just had to tell you guys how much this scene means to me. So I read the part Johnny and Bella were fighting or whatever and then he runs into Shannon and then she's like stressed or whatever about going home because she has a bad feeling about it and then she runs off and then she pukes and then he like finds her and like helps her and then he's like i'm taking you home and i'm like and he asked about her coat and everything she didn't have it so he took off his put it around her and then wrapped his arm around her shoulder and said come on i'm taking care of you I literally put a towel on it. That's how much it means to me. This book is doing something to me. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna keep reading. I just had to update. I don't think I'm gonna read much tonight. I wanna get to like page 300. That's my goal. And it should be fine because I just sped through 20 pages. It feels like I just started reading and that's unusual for me, especially with these seven pages. So I'll update you if anything else happens. It's literally been like a minute. I read the next chapter. Okay, so she had this terrible anxiety feeling that something was going to happen at home because it's happened like two nights in a row, I think now, in the past week. And that's why she threw up and everything. He drove her home and she's like obviously still really anxious about what's going to happen when she gets home with her dad. And he can see it like literally in his head because this chapter was in its point of view. He's literally like something's telling me I shouldn't leave her here. And I'm just like... Like, obviously, this would never happen in real life. Like, that's just not possible, I feel like. I don't know. I mean, maybe. Anyways, even if it's unrealistic, I'm still gonna eat it up. I don't care. He asked her to come with him after she gets out of the car. He's like, wait, come with me. And she's like, where? And he's like, anywhere. And then it says that she looked relieved. And she was like, you want me to come with you? And he was like, yeah, Shannon. I want you to come with me. <laughs> Whenever they say their name in a sentence out loud, I eat it up. Anyways, oh my gosh. And then the next chapter's title is The Boy's a Hero. But I'm actually kind of nervous though, like scared, because if she goes and then, well, she better go. She has to go. I was back in his car. Okay, yeah, she went. Uh-huh. I'm nervous about what her dad will do once she gets back from going where she's going with him. They went to the bar. She was really nervous because we were watching him, so they went to the lounge. And then her old bullies from her school were there. And then he was like, go start the car, whatever. And as they were like walking out though, one of them was like basically calling her a whore for like chasing after him because he's like rich and famous or whatever. And so he's like, go start the car. And then he goes back in. And he was like, which one of you wants to call my girlfriend a whore to my face? Girl. Friend. He's about to eat them up. Ciara? Sierra, Sierra, probably. He's about to eat her. Literally getting my live reaction right now. He just punched the dude that was eyeing her. That's Sierra's boyfriend. Which is why Sierra was beating up Shannon and like messing with her. Because her boyfriend was looking at Shannon. Shannon didn't even do anything. Her man is the problem. And he's doing it again and he just got punched in the face. Oh, by Johnny. Oh, he just asked her to go to the cinema. <laughs> I'm literally going insane. I'm actually going insane reading this book. What is happening to me? So she said she's not allowed to, but she wants to, so she's going. And I'm really scared what's going to happen whenever she gets home. Oh, okay. I just flipped to the next page and it doesn't even... It doesn't show them at the cinema together. Oh my gosh. I just like sped through this because I need to know if I need if I got the cinema scene. And it's on Saturday and she's like saying after he dropped her off after the cinema. Her dad was literally beating the crap out of her. And her mom had to pull him off. And she's like, go out of here and never come back or whatever. The mom said that to the dad. Obviously he's going to come back and she, her mom's going to forgive him. Anyways, I'm going to keep reading. Okay, so I'm back again. And this one's going to be quick because I'm right in the middle of a chapter. And I want to know what happens. But Johnny is at the bar, the same bar. I forget the name of it but they go to this or it's a pub is what they call it i think but he's there and he's just thinking about shannon because this song played and i think it's the same song that played whenever he was driving her home that he had on cd i think i'm not sure but he was thinking all this stuff like this girl's different this one is for keeps and then saying all the stuff that they did together and then he was like you could love this girl your whole life the crazy thought persisted inside my brain over and over if you just let yourself but Cormac and Bella have been making out the whole time because Bella's trying to get his attention in the bar and they just walked up to their table. So I'm interested in what's going to happen. So I'm going to go keep reading that. Another update. I'm on chapter 32, page 296. I'm almost like halfway. Joey ended up finding Johnny and drove him home and Gypsy. Basically, Joey dropped them both off at Johnny's house. And he's basically like, thank you for looking out for her. But like, she needs a friend. Like warning him, like not boyfriend. And literally this whole time, you're in Johnny's head. It's in his point of view. 
and he's drunk and all he's thinking about is like how he wants Shannon except it's different in this chapter lately he's been talking himself out of it like you don't need that but this time he was like actually admitting that he wants her long term though I'm gonna read one more chapter because I need to get to page 300 so I'll see you if something happens in this chapter or when I'm done so I said I was only gonna read one more chapter but there's no way I'm gonna stop reading right now because Joey and Shannon went to go get lunch and then a phone started ringing in the back seat and guess whose phone it was Johnny's and it was Gibsy calling and he was like hey can you drop the phone off so he's going over there at Johnny's house and Shannon is there the next chapter is in Johnny's point of view so obviously I'm gonna keep reading <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> but we'll see what happens and this is like not even that big of a deal but I'm literally laughing and kicking my feet about it Gibsy got Johnny to help him turn on the stove or whatever in his house because his house is super fancy and he was like did I ever tell you about the time that your girl helped me with Brian and Johnny was like Brian Shannon saved you from Brian and he was like she sure did I love how you don't even deny she's yours anymore <laughs> I laughed. I was kicking my feet. I don't know, okay? It's like the smallest things get to me in this book. And then she like refused to get out of the car. Like Joey's in the house now. He like just went in the house and she's still in the car. And Joey goes, can you go check on my sister? <laughs> Joey knows exactly what he's doing. I love him for this. He's literally stirring the pot because Shannon would not get out of the car and she was blushing and everything about going to Johnny's house. He is hilarious for this. Anyways, that's the end of the chapter, but I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> She's out in the shower. He left her like a pile of his clothes on the bed to pick through. She picked out a shirt and his boxers to wear. Apparently his sweatpants were way too big. So that was the only thing that would fit her. And she's folding the clothes for him. And then she sees something under his bed and it's the newspaper picture of them. Kept it under his bed. <laughs> Okay, I have to keep reading. I was like about to cry, for real. So Johnny told Shannon the news about her mom. She started crying and he was like, I'm gonna hug you now. Tell me if that's not okay. And then she like laid her head on him to say that like it is okay. And so they were hugging and then she like goes to sit in his lap. She's like straddling him and her arms like around his neck and she's just like has her face like in him. And he like let go though, cause he was like, Shannon tell me what to do and she was like hold me don't let go and he said okay and then, <laughs> and then she just cried in his arms because she needed somebody and he was there I need to tap this anyways chapter 37 what time is it no way it's 4 24. i was like Ugh, maybe it's like 3 20. <laughs> not gonna stop me from <laughs> keep reading though i'm gonna keep reading i can't stop hey guys so it is way later it's a few days later and they finally kissed but basically she ended up going to his house because his mom invited her and it was raining so she had to end up taking a shower there again and she walked out of the bathroom and literally saw his bare butt i was like oh my gosh <laughs> she's like only in a towel because she doesn't have her clothes because they were in the dryer so he went to go get her clothes from the dryer and came back and she was playing with the dog and the dog was like on her like because they were playing or whatever but she's still in a towel and he comes in and he's like your clothes are still damp whatever and then he sits him down and he sits on the bed and he has his back to her and I'm just like it's weird and then he turns around and closes her towel so she was literally flashing him and she didn't even know. I don't understand how that even happens. She was like apologizing and everything. They face each other and she kisses him and he doesn't even kiss her back. He was just like there and then she like feels awful and she's so embarrassed because that was her first kiss and he didn't even kiss her back or anything. So now she ran to the bathroom. She doesn't want to leave the bathroom because she doesn't want to face him. And I'm just like, oh my god. Because I know that he wanted to kiss her back. Had to wait this long for their first kiss and he didn't even kiss her back. What is this? Anyways, I'm on chapter 47 and I really want to finish this today. I have to finish this today. I'm just going to keep on reading. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so I totally forgot to say this. Remember earlier in the video whenever I was like, ooh, I hope the next two books is about Claire and Gibsy. Well, it wasn't and I was sad. Chloe Walsh just announced that the next series couple is gonna be Claire and Gibson. Do you guys know how excited I was and what a crazy coincidence that it was that I literally just said that and then she announced it like a week later. And I just wanted to let you guys know how freaking excited I am for that and it makes me so much more motivated to finish this just so I can read that whenever it comes out. Anyways, I'm gonna keep reading but I just had to tell you guys that. He dropped her off at home. She left her school bag so he had to come back and then since she left home from school early, no one's at home and she invited him inside and she's about to show him like her room. She's being like, I don't know, 
know we're in johnny's point of view and she's being so like confident and like inviting him and whatever i'm just kind of shocked because i thought she was nervous around him now because she was rejected or whatever i'm not complaining we'll see what happens i'm kind of scared that like her dad's gonna come home or something while he's there bella has been spreading rumors around the whole school that johnny and shannon are messing around and stuff and she was saying stuff to her like in front of the whole lunch room johnny was trying to sort it out and then they were like no let's just go and then they agreed and then she screamed something like rude to her in front of everybody so he went back over and she was like what are you gonna do hit me and he was like no i'm gonna hit him and he just punched cormac in the face and he was starting to fight him and i didn't see the rest because it was in shannon's point of view and she just left i'm so tired of bella she needs to get over herself for real Oh my gosh, they got they're on the bus ride to this game and Shannon's been sitting with Johnny and whatever and she she just saw his iPod and she saw the playlist. It's named Songs for Shannon. And it's literally a playlist that Johnny made of all the songs that reminds him of Shannon. And the songs in here, you guys. Now he just said that he needs to talk to her, so I'm kinda nervous now, but I just <laughs> That's the cutest thing literally ever. Okay, so he just left to go practice or whatever before the game. She like called him back and like whispered in his ear like be careful. He started to say, he said Shannon, I'm so dot dot dot. And then he says we'll talk tonight. <laughs> Was he about to say something like I'm so in love with you or something? Because he should. Oh my. Why do I literally spoil myself? Look at this chapter. That's how long it is. And I skipped literally to the last line. And it was like because how much I loved her. So I was right. <laughs> So I'm this far from the ending and everyone says that the ending is like you need the second book. I don't know if this is gonna happen but like what if he gets hurt in the game or something and like what if it ends like with him being hurt and then they don't even get to have the car ride together and he doesn't get to confess his feelings or something. I don't know but I'm scared. I'm just not ready for the ending. I don't know what it is but I know I'm gonna be hurting when I read it. Okay so I was kind of right. So he got hurt at the last part of the game and he like reopened his wound or something and he has to go to the hospital because he has to get another surgery which is going to take even more time off of training and everything for healing and i feel so sad for him <laughs> so she went inside to go check on him in the visitor's locker room or whatever while he's waiting to get picked up by the ambulance and she was about to leave after saying like she's worried for him like she's scared for him and he was like can you stay with me <laughs> he said please I don't want to be on my own. I'm literally gonna cry. I'm barely gonna cry right now. She said, I can go and get Gibsy. And he shook his head saying, I only want you. Oh. I have to keep reading. I'll update. <laughs> oh my gosh, he kissed her. <laughs> oh my gosh. And she kissed him again. And she was like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that. And then she ran away. And I was like, there's no way you're about to run away right now. But then he like slammed the door shut. And he was like, I am too or something. And she was like, why are you sorry? And he said, because I shouldn't do this. And then he kissed her. Okay, I have to keep reading. Their kiss ended up being very heated. They ended up sitting down on a bench. And she was like straddling him. And they were kissing. And then the freaking coach walked in. And the paramedics. The paramedics are looking at him. And then he apologized for not kissing her back that night. It's so close to ending and I'm so scared guys. The paramedics were checking him out and then she had to leave the room and she said bye Johnny. His pain filled eyes landed on mine by Shannon and then like in italics which is like what she's thinking. It's like I love you. I'm so in love with you. Please be okay. The next chapter is called Waiting Game and it's in Shannon's point of view and I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm actually like tearing up right now. So he got out of surgery and he's talking with his dad and he's like, I need to find the girl. Like there's a girl because he's like on drugs because he just got out of surgery. He was like, there's a girl on the bus. I need you to find her for me. And he was asking, is he dying? And his dad was like, no. And he's like, good because I want to see that girl again. And he was like, no, I'm serious. I think I love that girl. She's a river. I'm keeping her dad. <laughs> She makes my heart go like, whoa, boom, boom, fucking boom. <laughs> All the time. I saw this on a TikTok and it was like, boom, boom, effing boom. And I was like, I wonder what that is. Like, I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, so she's in the room and he's like, doesn't know what he's talking about. He's so high right now from the drugs. And he just said, I love you, Shannon, like the river. He said it again. He said, I effing love you. Oh my gosh. She ended up staying and it was only her in the room because the nurse was like, only one person can stay, whatever. And he would not let her go. And she ended up saying that she loved him back. And he's like, who's hurting you? It hurts me when you lie to me. It hurts to know that someone is hurting my Shannon. She was like, my father. Like she literally said that her father was the one doing it. And then she was waiting for a response, but it, he was asleep. But next chapter, and I wonder if he's gonna remember any of it. I hope that he does, but I doubt that he will. So John Johnny 
woke up, he was freaking out and everything and he told Shannon to like go out and go get his dad or whatever. And Shannon went on the bus and is going home, I guess. But his dad was talking with him in his room and he was basically, whenever they started talking about Shannon, like that the coach told Johnny's dad what they were doing in the locker room. And Johnny was like, does her parents know? And he's like, yeah, probably. And I'm so scared for Shannon whenever she goes home. Johnny didn't remember anything from whenever he was messed up on drugs, but his brain kept saying, my father, my father. Like, that's important. Why does he remember Shannon saying, my father? Like, focus, remember why. You can remember this, but he doesn't remember why she said it. Next one is called Frustrated Fears. There's only this much left. Is this the last chapter? Oh my gosh, this is the last chapter. I have to get my reactions to this. No, because I'm actually mad. How can it even end like that? The scene with her little brother trying to protect her, that was the saddest thing ever. My heart was literally breaking. And then Joey showed up and like beat the crap out of the dad. The mom literally went to the dad and was like, oh gosh, you're bleeding. Like your daughter is literally beaten almost to death on the floor and you're going to him first. You're a terrible mom. I'm actually like sad. I'm unwell. What even? I love this book though. Honestly, five stars. And this isn't one of the times where I'm like just finishing it and I give it a five stars, I'm gonna change it. Like, no, this is a five star book. I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. And and then after reading it, I love this book. I am ordering Keeping 13 as soon as possible. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some people have requested me doing a reading vlog on this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much, I don't want to say fun. Because this is honestly like kind of a heartbreaking book. But it's so good. And it's one of those books that it feels like there's a drug in it. Because you're just addicted and you can't stop. And time just flies while you're reading this book. I swear. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave more videos any recommendations in the comments i love talking with you guys in the comments um subscribe if you haven't already all my social medias are linked in my link tree in the description if you want to go follow me on any of those and i will see you guys in my next video bye